So, uh oh, uh oh, this might be a big bad. Actually, this might be a big bad. Turn these off. Start the engines. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a really big boo boo for me. All right, we're going to land in the water and hopefully be able to get through the bridge. I don't see this going well. Turn us around. We're going to slap into the target right there. Okay. Yeah, here we go. You're dead. You're dead. We're going to throttle up fully. And then hopefully, whenever that gets here, it'll lift us up into the air enough for my engines to get started, to get spilled up, and to push us out of here. I, I just don't think it's going to happen. But we'll, we'll try. There's no point in not trying. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are checking out something we have checked out multiple times. We've actually played with this thing with Komodo, we've played with this thing by myself, and actually I think I've actually played with it, like, I, I want to say it's been in about five videos. Uh, but now it's been in six, because today we are checking it out once again. Uh, we are obviously starting off in the Arctic, we have a bunch of warnings on our screen saying that uh, it's a bad idea to use this thing. However, I love it. It's actually one of my favorite creations in this game, uh, and I really, really like it. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking off from the Arctic. We're going to be traveling down south in order to actually get to the mainland, uh, and hopefully we actually come across a few missions on the way. Uh, the weather will be changing as and when it wants to, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's go ahead and get inside and hopefully turn the heaters on. Alright, so in order to get inside, let's go ahead and open up the boarding ramp. There we go, awesome. It folds out just like this, and then it folds down, which is absolutely fantastic. We can then open up this door, jump inside, close the boarding ramp, and then we'll close the door. Alright, there we go, close the door. Awesome. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, there's a bunch of rooms uh, for the people. There's beds in this one, uh, there's beds in this one. If we have a quick little look in these ones as well, beds, beds and a little seating room. Uh, so that's all pretty good. Inside here we got like a little storage room, pretty awesome. Uh, on the other side we've got another boarding ramp, which is pretty awesome too. Uh, we have a little bar situation going on downstairs. If you have a little look inside here, we got a poo poo area, where you can go poo poo. Uh, inside here is, I don't really know what this is, a changing room. There you go, there's a changing room, interesting. Uh, if you go back here, we've got a bunch more seats, which is awesome. We have this little bar thing as well, and if we go all the way to the back, we have another poo-poo room. Okay, so if you're done with poo-pooing, you can go ahead and go up the stairs, and here you will have the back area, which is where you can poo-poo again. Uh, we have more seating area, obviously, if you move forwards. Uh, we do obviously have this, another poo-poo area, and here, another poo-poo area. So, in fact, this thing has a million toilets on it. Kind of interesting. Anyway, in order to actually get up to the cockpit, you have to go downstairs, go up the stairs again, uh, and here we have whatever this is. I'm not entirely sure what this room is. Um, I don't know. I want to say it's like a big changing room area. There's, uh, there's obviously a sink in here, and I don't know what this is, but it's really weird. Anyway, uh, if you go back this way, you can actually get out onto the top of the plane. Kind of interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and close these doors as we go forwards and make our way to the actual cockpit. Uh, we have another seating area. We actually have a door to get out that's quite high. We wouldn't want to get out there. And then we're actually in the cockpit. So let's go ahead and turn on all the generators. There we go. Awesome sauce. Uh, turn on all the lights, the control surfaces, the control panels, engine power for everything, uh, external lights, main power, navigational equipment, uh, and everything else. There we go. Very good. Uh, we have our heaters. We do need those. Uh, first floor lights, second floor lights. There we go. We have a map right here, which is pretty awesome. We can center the map whenever we need to, uh, and that is pretty cool. Then, of course, we can go to the front. We are inside the cockpit, as you guys can see. Uh, we have that, which is for navigation, uh, that for altitude, uh, and that is cool. All right, so we don't need gear lights. We don't need our distress flare. Uh, not yet, at least. Uh, we don't need to raise our pontoons. However, because we are on the... Uh, the land, we might as well raise them. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and we are pretty much ready to go, actually. So, let's go ahead and start up the engines. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm assuming it will. There we go. Very cool. Uh, engine throttle. Let's go ahead and boost that up to full. And then we can increase our thrust. Here we go. Slowly but surely, we will start moving forwards. Okay. And we are in the sky. That was instant, pretty much. 
took the landing gear. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and we are actually flying. I love this thing. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It's so cool. Okay, so now we are actually flying. I've decided to look at the map, and right here we have a transponder signal detected, which means there is something out there that we could probably go and find and uh, fix up. But at the same time, I don't think we've got anything on this to actually navigate to find a transponder signal, so we will never find it in that massive search area. So we're just going to continue on south and uh, hope for the best. Okay, so the weather is actually able to do whatever the heck the weather wants to do. So if there's going to be massive waves, uh, there is going to be massive waves. If there's going to be a lot of rain or snow, then there's going to be a lot of rain and snow. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that works. Anyway, uh, our altitude would be kind of nice to know right now. Uh, airspeed, altitude. We're going to go to about, I want to say 200. I know that's not the best, but uh, 200 seems fine. There we go. We're going to lower ourselves down. I want to be able to see the waves, if there is any, uh, and that seems like a good idea to me. So there you go. Alright, I've gone ahead and I've actually turned on the ocean foam so you guys can see how big the waves are. Uh, usually in the Arctic, they are actually pretty big, so uh, we really don't want to go down in this thing in the Arctic. Or actually in open ocean either, so um, we're going to hope for the best that all of the engines stay running. Uh, and we're just going to continue flying, and um, yeah, we're just going to hope for the best here, so... Let's keep flying. Uh, we are being pushed around a little bit by the wind, which is, um, yeah. I mean, that's gonna happen with how big this wing is. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going and uh, hope for the best. Alright, so we haven't been flying for all that long, to be totally honest with you guys. This is how far we've made it, and uh, that is not that far at all. Our waypoint is actually about 100 kilometers away, which is about the distance to the mainland, I believe. Uh, of course, that is a massive guess, but um, that's what we've got to work with. So, there you go. Anyway, we're going to continue going. Our nav lights should really be on. Our anti-collision lights should be on too. Uh, we don't need to pop the distress flares just yet, but uh, we will probably need them eventually. Uh, the sun, I believe, is going to stay up during this entire flight, uh, hopefully, because um, if it gets dark, I'm going to get spooked out. There's a boat over there. It, I mean, it looked like it's sinking. Is it flying now? What in the world? What was that? Oh, God, yeah, those waves are big. Those waves are really big, actually. Wow. Hot diggity dog. We don't really want to go down in there. But uh, at the same time, there might be a point in time where I accidentally... Uh, I don't know, maybe I, I do the engine cutoffs and they, they we start falling out the sky. Maybe there's a time when that will happen. I don't know. Okay, so I know this wasn't a real thing, but I would love to see a cargo version of this plane. Like, I don't know, it would just be really, really cool. Of course, it is a double-decker plane, so uh, we would be able to actually store quite a lot of stuff in it. However, at the same time, uh, it is a water plane or a seaplane or, yeah, etc. So, um, it would need to be airtight on the bottom, so we couldn't really have a ramp on the back, uh, even though that would be really cool. Uh, we would have to do something to it to make it a little bit, I don't know, airtight at the bottom, but also be able to actually store quite a lot of cargo. So, I don't know how that would work, but it would be really cool if it did, you know? Alright, just for the drama, we're going to go ahead and cut off these engines, and we're going to try and land this thing in the water. Now, I'm going to have to turn off this and this, there we go. Uh, and there is actually a ship in front of us, but we have to try and land without any forward power. And actually, the wind is so much that it's keeping us in the sky. <laughs> That's kind of insane. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, this might be a big bad. Actually, this might be a big bad. Turn these off. Start the engines. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a really big boo-boo for me. Uh, I don't think we're going to recover from this. I mean, we... I mean, there is a possibility. But I don't think we're going to recover. I think this is us. I think we're actually going to die here. That is not the best. This is not the situation I was expecting. And um, not the situation I wanted. But we are now... 
I don't know. Let's let's lower the pontoons. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, we're going to turn off the engines because, um, yes, we are now upside down in the water. Not a good idea. Um, right. Cool. Well, my bad. We've now flipped upside down in the ocean uh, and everything is big bad. I do have an idea, of course, on how we can actually fix this situation. Um, I just don't know whether it would work or not. I'm going to give it a go, though. Oh, this is kind of creepy, uh, but the uh, the emergency is on its way. Essentially, I've spawned in the tsunami to hopefully like lift us into the sky. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and turn on our engines again. Because it would be kind of important to, to do this. So let's go ahead and turn those on. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to throttle up fully. And then hopefully, whenever that gets here, it'll lift us up into the air enough for my engines to get started, to get spilled up, and to push us out of here. I, I just don't think it's going to happen. But we'll, we'll try. There's no point in not trying. No. There's no point. Yes. That's the words. Them's the words. All right. We've spilled up fully. This is fantastic. Uh, we will need to, like, take off upside down. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, we do actually need to hope that we get lifted up with the with the wave. And not just go straight through it. Because that would suck. But um, I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. We're going to get sucked straight through it. Oh, please. Please, just give me a chance. Give me a chance to right this. Please. All right, lift us up. Lift us up. Come on. Or at least flip us over. That would work too. That would work too. Oh. Oh my god. No way. No way. Yes. 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 <laughs> what the? Okay, no. This is good. This is perfect. This is perfect. Yes! Take off off of Tsunami! Do it! Do it! Yes! <laughs> yes! Alright, that is actually fantastic! There we go! We, uh, we ended up flipping over and going the right way. So, um, just for future reference, you shouldn't really cut off both engines. Actually, uh, there's a lot of engines on this thing. You shouldn't really cut off all of their stuff. Also, one thing that I forgot to do was turn these back on. We do need the power generation because uh, otherwise we'd fall out the sky. So there you go. It's working. We're doing things and it's working. The weather is doing whatever the heck the weather wants to do, uh, which is apparently a lot of wind and a little bit of snow. But um, perfect. We survived. That's awesome. Look at that poor ship down there. <laughs> just look at it. Look at it. It's, it's just being annihilated by the waves. It's just bobbing around. It might actually flip over at some point. It's, it's underwater a lot of the time. The, the, uh, the Arctic is just a bit, I don't know, it, I want to say it's, it's deadly. The waves here are huge, and uh, you don't really want to come here in a, uh, a ship that is not capable. So um, if you do travel to the Arctic in a ship, make sure it's capable. Also, if you travel here in a plane, make sure you've got some sort of survival stuff on you uh, so you don't die. Yeah. All right, it's now nighttime on this flight, and uh, everything is actually seeming okay. The wind seems to have died down a little bit. Uh, the sun is obviously going down over there, as you guys can see. That's, I mean, it looks pretty nice. This game always looks really nice on the nighttime. In fact, that's actually the moon going up. Interesting. I thought the sun was going down, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually go back, and uh, we'll have a little seat down here, uh, somewhere back here, and we'll just have a, we'll have a good time. We'll chill out. There we go. Nice. You know what? I'm getting kind of bored of it being nighttime, uh, and it's it is actually kind of going to take a long time to become daytime. So what we're going to do is this is a bad thing to do, by the way. Never go downstairs on this thing while it's moving. Uh, I know I just did, but um, it has a problem. Anyway, the reason I don't want to go to sleep on this thing is because I'm scared that when I wake up I will die uh, from actually I don't know when we wake up I don't know physics uh, that we actually woke up and we're fine. All right, fantastic. Uh, however, going upstairs never used to work, but now it does. Maybe it's because we were turning. It might have been because we were turning last time. But anyway, it's the morning. Uh, the weather has actually been fine. The weather is fine. Uh, there's an AI ship down there. Awesome. The waves look uh, completely fine. It doesn't look wavy at all. That's awesome. So we're going to continue flying. We're apparently 50 kilometers away. Uh, from where I think there might be islands, so um, there you go. Uh, you guys can tell that it isn't... We're not in the Arctic anymore, because there's no snow and there's no icebergs. In fact, there is islands, which is awesome. Uh, so we know we're getting closer, but we still don't really know where we're going. Yeah. 
That's an issue. Okay, perfect. So what we've actually found is the creative base is just there. It's the bigger island. Uh, we can see the nuclear power plant as well, which is awesome, which is just on the left. Uh, there's a bunch of random islands, which is it's fine, but we don't really need those right now. Uh, we're looking for uh, the big island. We're looking for the mainland. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue flying this way. Uh, we're going to hopefully come across it, which would be awesome. Uh, and we're going to land at Holt Town, which is the town uh, on the river inside the middle of the mainland. So we're going to get there, hopefully, and uh, we'll land there. Seems like a good idea to me. You know, I was just thinking as well, wouldn't it be actually kind of fun and kind of cool if this thing was an actual, like, air tanker? That would that would be kind of interesting and, and actually really fun. Um, so yeah, we could get rid of the whole interior of this thing. I don't know whether I should just do it, because I don't know if the creator even plays the game anymore. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, that would be really cool if this was, like, there to carry oil and stuff. The only reason I think of that is because there's an oil rig right there, but, like, I think it'd be pretty cool. Also, the main island, uh, the mainland, is actually right in front of us. So, we'll be there in no time, and uh, we're going to attempt to land this thing. Yeah. Look at how mad this is. Uh, this is, like, the, the way we actually went. So, we did, like, a bit of a turn there, but then I put the autopilot on, and it went in a straight line. Uh, and then we ended up getting here. So, we need to figure out where Holt Town is, because I'm not entirely sure where it is. Uh, it's, I think it's somewhere over there. It's that way. So... We're going to continue heading this direction. Uh, that's actually the first air traffic I've seen. Uh, there is a helicopter. Kind of interesting. Uh, and yeah, we're going to land in the water. So we're going to land in the river. Which uh, I'm hoping will go well. But uh, at the same time, it might not. We'll have to see. But uh, we're good. We're good. We're doing alright. We will actually lower the pontoons. There we go. They're going to go down. Uh, we're going to tuck the landing gear. That's going to stay tucked. I wish there was actually a button to drop the landing gear off. However, I guess that's a little bit too too much work. That's quite a lot of work. Uh, but it'd be really cool if that happened. Anyway, uh, Holt Town might actually be over there on our left. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is, actually. We're going to follow the river into our left. And we're going to we're gonna do this. All right, altitude all off. That off as well. We're going to slow it down quite a lot. There we go. That's our collective, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to slow down. And we're going to land in this river just after the bridge. So, that's going to be interesting. Or should we try and land through the bridge? <laughs> I kind of want to try that. Alright, we're going to land in the water and hopefully be able to get through the bridge. I don't see this going well, actually. But, um, let's go ahead and slow down. And we'll see what happens. Here we go, press 2. Alright, we're going to land through the bridge. Here we go. Here we go, indeedy. Alright, we're in the water. <laughs> and... Do we even fit? Do we fit through here? We fit! Oh my! Okay, no! No way! Does it fit with that as well? That is... Amazing! <laughs> I didn't expect that to work! That's awesome! Right, let's go ahead and collective up a bit. There we go, we're actually gonna do this too. There we go. And we're gonna try and push ourselves over to the, uh, the harbor. Now, I don't know... How to drive this thing on the, uh on the water. It doesn't seem to work too well. So I'm going to do this to full, but we're going to lower this to zero. Alright, let's increase this a little bit. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Okay! Uh, <laughs> that is not what I wanted. That is, I repeat, that is not what I wanted. How did we do that? We're going to have to land properly. Although I did just see a target. We're going to go for a target. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Here we go. Turn us around. Turn us around. We're going to slap into the target. Right there. Okay. Yep. Here we go. You're dead. You're dead. Hiya. <laughs> we did it. We took out the helicopter. Yes. Uh, so that went well. Um, we've managed to uh, destroy this plane. Oh, actually, yeah. We can't control it anymore. I don't have any controls. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. The landing gear has fallen off. We are now in boat mode. I don't think I've got... I've got no control over this thing, so we are dead. Um, what I am going to try is I'm going to press the distress flares. There we go. We're popping the distress flares because we need them. And uh, did I just... I'm almost dead. I'm almost... It's going to flip over again. So this journey has been eventful. Uh, we've been upside down in the ocean. We've been hit by a tsunami. Um, 
We crashed into a helicopter. We crashed into some trees. We did land at Halt Town, but then we took off again by accident. Um, lots of things happened. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys made it this far, um, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. That would be awesome. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already, also please try and subscribe. That would be awesome too. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, goodbye.